How you doing, man? I'm Hamish, and you know, uh, if you face time here, or you've been here, but you have not yet, come right here, right here, subscribe, and share this uh, channel to a lot of people. So, in another thing, I want to say thanks to everybody who have uh, donated me, okay? It's a lot. I appreciate it. Mean, Sometimes you guys give me a lot of that to the point where I feel like, man, this is a lot, man. You know, do I really deserve all your donation or how you give to me? It's a lot, and I appreciate it. That means a lot because, excuse me, it make this project going, you know, and you know, it make it kind of give me more power, you know, to keep them going. Whether we have that or we don't have, but uh, you know, let's go, let's go. So now, let's say three capacitor. We have this capacitor, means let's say this capacitor one, capacitor two, capacitor three. So now, there's something here, like, if somebody don't know the game of parallel, and see this capacitor, it's gonna be very hard for you to get whatever they ask you here, okay? So they say find the equivalence capacitance between point A means all the way to B. So let me explain to you about the parallel and series capacitor, okay? And how you're gonna work it out. Because if you don't know that, means you won't be able to solve that question. Now let's go for parallel. For example, let's say you have a battery here. Let's say it can be anywhere. Let's say, uh, okay, let's say uh, there's a battery here. Means in the back to you know we have a potential difference PD. Okay, so I mean this is uh okay, we put a charger here battery means there's a source of power and let's say uh, let's start with the power means I have a capacitor here. See capacitor when you say potential difference means there's a charge, which means you have to say one must be bigger, one must be smaller. But for this case this is cell, so it could be even two. Let's say I mean this is battery. You know why battery? Because when you have more than one cell, you get battery, battery. Or we call battery or battery you know what i'm saying it's battery so you have a battery here but if it's one we call it cell so if it's one we call it cell like this it's cell it's cell but if it's more than one like this is battery so now we go but for capacitor all of them must be equal length like this so let's start with the parallel capacitor how do we work it out the equivalence so let's say you have this capacitor and here another capacitor and let's say you have another capacitor here. So you have a three capacitor. So let's call this is capacitor one, which let's say is, uh, uh, let's say three Faraday. Three Faraday, and the capacitor two, let's say is one Faraday, and capacitor three equal to five, five. So these are part of the capacitor. So we want to get equivalence capacitor. We'll say equivalent capacitor is like a total, total capacitor. So you're going to say capacitor equivalence, or e equivalence capacitor, or total capacitor. If the capacitor, excuse me, the capacitor when they're parallel, you just add them all. So it's like, if you have ever done electricity, it's like the same thing but a vase of electricity. So now, if they're parallel, you add this easily. Like, so the capacitor equivalent is equal to capacitor 1 plus capacitor 2 plus capacitor 3. And this is going to give us the total capacitor or equivalent capacitor. Okay, what is capacitor 1? Capacitor 1 equal to 3 Faraday. Plus capacitor 2 equal to 1 Faraday and capacitor 3 equal to 5 Faraday. And this is going to give us 9 Faraday. So this is capacitor equivalence. 4 series capacitor. Okay, what about the potential difference? When these things are in parallel, you only take one, means they only share single potential difference. I mean, the potential difference which I'm going to use here is going to be the same with the one I'm going to use for this capacitor. It's going to be the same I'm going to use for this last capacitor. So, potential difference PD, general, of here, same with here, with here. So, the same as say, potential 1, potential 2 equal to potential 3. They're the same. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how we get this stuff. Now, let's go for a uh, uh, series resistor. So, for series resistor, it's not like that. Now, let me draw for you series. You understand why I say these are parallel? Because, look, they're all meter. Like, look. This and this and this, they don't mean it. But they can write either way. Not all the time it's going to be like this. They can write like this, for example. Let me try to uh, flip it for you. So you get on the same. Because at the end of the day, you know, the question cannot be, it's not going to come like exactly the same how it is. So it can even change like this, for example. They will say, uh, let's say, uh, let's say this is a source of power. And then, uh, oh, let's say this capacitor. And another capacitor, they can be even like this sometimes. You know, so it's not necessarily it must be like hard draw. Okay, let's say this is a potential difference. Or let's say you have a battery here. It's not only this, okay, let's say it's a battery like this. You 
this is better now because there's more than one cell there. Okay, so let's say this is uh, 4 Faraday and 0 0.5 Faraday. Now, let's get the equivalence uh, capacitor. So capacitor equivalence, equiv, equal to, add this. This will be 4 Faraday plus, plus what, plus 0 0.5 what, Faraday. And this is going to be 4.5 volt Faraday. So this is capacitor equivalence. What about potential difference? Okay, let's say they give us a potential difference here. Uh, let's say go to 5 volt. So 5 volt is going to be here, and here is going to be the same because these things are parallel, okay? So I'm going to say PD or potential difference, general, whatever 5D, 5 volt, excuse me, is the same of potential difference of here. So it's going to be equal to. V1, even the potential difference of here is going to be the same with potential difference of, it, uh, of the second capacitor. So now we know how to work it out. So they can draw how over. The important thing is you need to open your eye, okay? And look at these parallel series, they parallel. What does the parallel mean? It means this stuff they're going to go forever, not made up. So if I come back here to the diagram, we can see these and these are parallel to each other. Now, let me explain you, let me explain to you about the series and then I'm, we're going to come. So these two are parallel. So we know for a fact we're going to add this because then parallel. Now, let me explain to you about the series because there is a series being involved. Now, let's go to the uh, series now. Series capacitor. So, series is something which are next to each other. You know, when you say, oh, there's a series of games, what that means is uh, it's going to be a lot of games next to the next to each other. Okay? Now, here we go. So, for series capacitor, it's not like that now. Series is that easy. So series, what you do, for example, let's say you have a, uh, okay, let's say you got this capacitor, the first one. There's another capacitor here and another capacitor here. Okay, let's say this is one Faraday, this is 0 0.8 Faraday. Um, oh, 0 0.8, okay, let's say this is 7 Faraday. And here you have a, okay, this is V, potential difference, let's say 5 volt. Okay. Now, we want to get the equivalence, what? Well, equivalence capacitor for the series. So for the series, <laughs> okay, so now we go, we want to get to what? Capacitor equivalence. So for if they're parallel, this is what you do. It's very, very important. Say one over capacitor equivalence. Don't just say capacitor equivalence equal to, you're going to be in big trouble. Okay, I'm going to be there and say, oh my God, I wish he was here, he was going to help me. Say one over capacitor total. When you say equivalence, the total. 1 over capacity total equal to 1 over, so everything is a 1 over for the series 1. 1 over the capacitor 1, 1 over the second capacitor 1 over. Don't just say capacity equivalence, you're going to be in big trouble. So what you're going to do now? Okay, so 1 over capacity equivalence or capacity total, equivalence of total equal to 1 over. Okay, what is the first one? 1 Faraday plus the second one, 0 0.8. Well, the third one is going to be 1 over 7. So you can plug in the calculator. It's my calculator here. Okay, so I'm gonna see now fraction one, and then we say over one over one, and then we plus we plus um, one over zero point eight, and then we plus one over seven. Six seven over twenty eight. So one over equivalent total. Six seven over twenty eight. So what you do now, if you want to get uh, capacity equivalent, flip everything, but after you go the final answer. Okay, so now you're gonna flip everything. Flip. So, so now since your intention, you want to get this. So now flip it. So you're gonna say oh, capacitor, capacitor equivalent equal to 28 over 67 over 67. Six, seven. Okay, and now plug in the calculator, get your answer. So plug in the calculator this. So it's gonna be 28 over 67. And this is going to give a 1.417, 1.42, if approximate. So it's going to be 1.42. I'll say capacitor what? Equivalent. You know what I'm saying? Which is Faraday. So sometimes, not all the time, you have like a fraction. How, if, for example, because not all the time, if I put in the calculator, I'm going to get fraction. How if I get, let's say, 0 0.7? I'm going to flip it. Or 0 0.49. I'm just saying, for example. How I'm going to flip it. So what you do? Flip this, look, it's going to be, be capacitor equivalence. And then what you do, say, 
okay, if you can see this is over one. Okay, so here's gonna be one over because you flip is gonna be because any number which has no number just say over one, so it's gonna be capacity equivalence equal to one over zero point seven nine and capacity equivalence equal to or you plug in the calculator, you're gonna get your answer. So flip is very very important and write this very very important. Okay, what about the um now uh, what about the potential uh potential difference PD? So for the PD, okay, so for the PD here is easy. Okay. So for the PD here, explain if they are in series, just add all most potential difference. You know what I'm saying? So if they're in series, what you do? So oh, so since this is in series, means you add this because you add the for the phase one. For the second one, for third. So this is not correct here. If you see this, each one is going to have difference potential. Difference. Let's say this is going to have its own potential difference. Another one, another one. So to get total potential difference for series, you add them. So let's say in series for this case, I'm going to say total potential difference. PD, PD, V total, V equivalence equal to V1 plus potential difference. 2 plus potential difference. Three. You know what I'm saying? So now let's get back to the question. Okay, let's get back to the question. I'm gonna raise this so we have we have a space here. So I think now you have a clarity on how we can approach this question. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's go now. So now we have this question here. So first and foremost, it has nothing to do with the question, but I want to show you now. First, we know quantity of charger, we know equal to C times V. You know what I'm saying? So quantum charger equal to capacitors times or times potential difference. Okay, so it's all depending on my capacitor. Are my capacitor in series or in parallel? And what about the potential difference for this case? We know if they're in parallel, if they're in series, you know what I'm saying? If they're in series, we're going to take only one in parallel, just like how we saw before, okay? So I don't want to go back there. Now, let's come here. This is not part of the question, but you need to know this one. And I believe you know if you watch my video before, then you know the story. Now, find the equivalent capacitor or equivalent capacitor. So here there's two cases. This monster here is series. You see, is series with these two. But these two, they are parallel to each other. Look, they are parallel to each other. They know, look, this is series to these two. But these two are series. <laughs> Hold on. This one here is parallel to this. Like, like, it's like writing like this. Here, this junction here, so I can say if I had to split it, does it make sense? Huh? So, this is for micro microfaraday, and this is 6.0 microfaraday, and then this point here, this point here, and this point here, and then come all the way to B, and this is A, A is small A, and this is B. So, can you see this and this apply to each other? So, since this applies to each other, let's deal with those two things. So we know when the capacitors start parallel to each other, what we do, we add them. So we're going to say, uh, so for that case, say, okay, one, so capacitor, so I'm going to say, uh, since those are parallel, those two, so say four, micro, Faraday, we plus by 6.0 micro, Faraday. Why we do this? Because, you know, those are parallel. So parallel, capacitor, parallel, capacitor, parallel, capacitor and this is going to give us all 10 micro Faraday for parallel capacitor so these two they give us 10 micro Faraday so what happened this is going to be series to this I mean these together which is 10 means all this they give us 10 micro Faraday but these and these are parallel excuse me to that so when the parallel we know what we can do so I'm going to say okay now 1 over capacitor equivalence equal to 1 oh, sorry <laughs> there is series right so now for series this is for series or capacitor so I'm going to say 1 over capacitor equivalence equal to 1 over this which is this one 2 micro Faraday plus 1 over what we got which is 10 micro Faraday, you know, 
So now we can get this. So how are we going to get it? I have to get together of this and then I'll flip it. Okay. So I want to say 10 times 1 equal to 10 plus 2 times 1 equal to 2. But both is micro Faraday over what is the common denominator? The common denominator equal to 20. Oh, you can just plug in the calculator. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So say 1 over 2 and then we plus fraction 1 over 10. Okay. 3 over 5. 12 over 20, 12 over 10. Okay, so this is going to equal to 12 over 20 by 4 equal to 3 by 4 equal to 5. So 3 over 5. Micro Coulomb and Micro Coulomb cancel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So we have here 1 over capacity equivalent equal to 3 over 5. Okay. Okay. So we're going to say now 1 over capacity equivalence equal to 3 over 5. So since I want to get a capacity equivalence, flip it. I can say flip it. This is going to give you capacity equivalence equal to 5 over 3, which is going to be how many 3 5? Is 1 I'll be left to 2? Can 3 go into 2? No. We add 0. How many 3 in 20? 6. Which is 18. We're going to be left to 2. Can 3 go into 2? No. 0 is going to be 6. Because how many 3 in 20? 6 again. 6, 6, 6, 6. So capacity equivalence for this case is equal to you know i believe equal to what we got here you know which is 1.67 faraday 1.671 faraday okay okay so uh it's not it's not, it's not only faraday it's going to be micro uh excuse me uh, micro Faraday for this case because we do the micro Faraday, it's not Faraday. Micro Faraday. Man, look, man. Uh, I believe you learn for how to do things. If you got any question, please write under the comment section and I'm definitely going to get back to you. You know, I'm definitely going to get back to you. Or you can reach me on social media, Rafa, just in case, but I'll prefer if you leave comments under YouTube or whatever social media platform that you watch me now. I truly appreciate it. Subscribe. Hit that like button and share it to a lot of people. It's very, very important. And you know, don't forget to donate your button. I need your donation. You know what I'm saying? I'll be very honest with you. Thanks a lot of peace and love. And I'm out. <gasps> We're out.